Hi guys, uh, this is G from Beat Factory Academy and Beat Skills and also Bollywood Sounds. <laughs> How are you all doing? Um, I'm doing well and uh, I have something very amazing to show you today. Um, I discovered, uh, well not discovered, I've known about uh, Kush Audio, uh, an amazing brand uh, of audio processors by uh, uh, Gregory Scott who's an amazing, amazing engineer, musician and um, I've been attracted to his products for a while, but I didn't get the chance to check them out. And recently I just got all of their plugins. They have basically got two companies. One is Kush Audio, and there's another one, a new one called SlyFi. So SlyFi is their new line of plugins, and uh, then they've already had the line of, uh, you know, other plugins with their Kush Audio brand. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use their plugins to take uh, an 808 kind of beat that I've made and color it and make it really punchy and amazing. So I'll get straight to it. Uh, I've got uh, hats and percussion on one track. I've got kick and snare on one. And then I've got a bass uh, sound from my Profit 8 on one of the tracks. So let me just play you uh, the simple sequence here. As you can see, it's not very colored. It's uh, pretty much dry. It's just the way it was and just recorded from my MPC and from the Profit 8. So I'm just going to start coloring the hats first. We've got the Axis EQ, which looks like an API 550A and then there's a B mode. But uh, it's modified actually. It's not like that exactly. It's got a, you know, a little more uh, like they say punchier, grittier sound. Uh, it's also got a saturation knob. So I'll get straight to working with this. I'm just boosting a bit of top end here. So let's listen to it. And it's the saturation knob. As you can see, it adds a beautiful saturation. So I've just added this, added a bit of gain at, uh, at 15K for that air kind of feel. And then I'm gonna add a little more distortion with their plugin Kaya. Kaya is also an amazing distortion plugin. It's modeled after some custom gear that uh, Gregory has. So I've already applied this, I can, I can show you the difference now. You can see the, you know, the, the percussion in the hats beautifully distort and, you know, it reminds me very much of my thermonic culture, uh, you know, rooster or the, the culture vulture. It has that kind of flavor, but I think it's, it's still got more control over everything. So they've got a treble, a movement and a breakup knob and also an abuse knob, <laughs> which we can understand what, you know, what that means. So uh, let's listen before and after. And then of course, without both the plugins. I've actually gone a little extreme and added a lot of character and, and that's okay. I mean, I, I kind of like character, so I, I don't like clinical sounds and boring sounds. So I like to bring more color to, you know, my mixes and make them sound a little more vintage, have a little more organic feel to them. Uh, okay, let's go to the next track, which is the uh, kick and snare track. So uh, I've applied the, the Kaya here, let's, let's switch that on and see how it kind of distorts the kick and snare. really nice so if you're looking for character like Kaya is like an amazing amazing plugin it can actually bring you a very desirable distortion sound uh, and it, it's like it's so real sounding it's it sounds really so much like just you know real distortion from hardware uh, hardware distortion is very difficult to model and because we also make plugins and we know how, how hard it is to actually get the sound right so in this case uh, you know uh, UBK and uh, Slyfy have done an amazing job I think they really make it sound like what, what hardware sounds like Last but not the least, I've got a bass sound and on this I've used a very unique kind of plugin called 
the push there are the, the other plugins from push audio like the clarifonic and the electra which i'll show in another demo but i just wanted to show these unique processors in this one so i'm going to use on the base uh, the pusher but first let's listen without it yeah, it's played live so obviously it's not context perfectly that's how i wanted it um listen to that isn't that cool so they've got variety of functions the detail of which i'm not going into because these are very unique kind of functions they've got various kind of magnetic fluxes and stuff working with each other different types of uh, transformer steel cobalt iron nickel you can just add the characteristics of various of these uh, there's a bias uh, for the cores then there's a flux drive which magnetizes all four cores so it's a very unique kind of plugin you got to check it out they also have uh, a cheat mode where um, everything is displayed as to what it it really does so you can use it now i think that the sound is great i just moved a few knobs and i got a great sound without wondering or thinking about what the parameters are and i think that's cool about gear that uh, you don't have to be technical at the moment you're coloring the sound and i love color so let's listen i forgot about one plugin which is the electra so we're going to add the electra on top of the uh, the percussion and hats very subtle thing i'm doing i'm just boosting a little bit of 12k and i'm adding a little body back in to uh this percussion part since it has no kick in it so that's what it does very subtle thing uh let's listen to the tracks uh with the plugins and then without okay, let's switch them off definitely sweeten the entire mix a lot i think it's glued it also in in some aspect and just last not but not the least uh, to add an icing on the cake we're going to use our very own beat skills uh, slam dog to master the beat a little bit we've used these uh, plugins from kush audio and uh, ubk uh, sorry uh, from slyfy and kush audio to you know to do all the other amazing colors and then on top we're just going to add a little garnish very slight amount of garnish with the slam dog nothing extreme So let's dial in a little bit of bass and stereoize it. Slam Dog just added a little bit of the you know the touch ups to the master bus since uh, it's a mastering beat mastering kind of plug in a quick one. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I've not gone into various details. I've just wanted to show you uh, the lovely plugins by UBK and uh, Slyfy. So uh, hats off to Greg Scott for creating amazing amazing things. These didn't exist before and now we have them. And I use them along with my own plugins and uh, I have to appreciate uh you know their work it's it's really good so if you like them you go and check them out on kush audio and on slyfy uh, uh their websites will be uh, labeled here and um if you like slam dog you can check our stuff out too but i i think they make great stuff if you like it go and buy their stuff it's it's really really cool there's nothing out there like this so this is gorav uh, or g signing out and i'll catch you guys on the next tutorial take take care bye bye